Our students and staff at Cal State University and University of California are going to have to be fully vaccinated for COVID-19 before they return to campus and school activities. Good evening. I'm Christine Devine. I'm Alex Michelson. This takes effect at the beginning of the fall semester. Coco McAvoy joining us live at Cal State Northridge with more. Coco. Yes, good evening. The requirement is dependent on when the vaccine becomes fully FDA approved. And they believe and hope that that will happen by the fall semester. And some people were expecting this announcement because universities already require some vaccinations for students on campus. The majority of university campuses are fairly quiet these days as students, faculty and staff focus on distance learning during the pandemic. But the fall semester will likely be different. And Cal State University and the University of California will require COVID-19 vaccinations for everyone returning to campus. I was pleased to see that that the universities are taking this very seriously and are trying, um, you know, their best to to come back to in-person learning. Dr. Nissa Silberger, an assistant professor for Cal State University Northridge, is on board. Those that are physically able to get vaccinated, have access to vaccinations, are not precluded by any medical or religious beliefs, I think should be vaccinated. Cal State student June Huang agrees. But for everybody's safety, I think that's really necessary for sure. I, I already got the first dose and I'm looking forward to get the second dose. Yeah, hopefully everybody is getting it for sure. The universities will require the vaccine once one or more are fully FDA approved. Right now, the vaccines are being administered under FDA emergency use. Dr. Juan A. Silva believes the universities are making the right choice. I think it's a, it's a good beginning because we know that the greatest percentage of people being infected with uh, COVID-19 is at age group 18 to 34 in California. Universities already require vaccinations for contagious diseases like measles. So the COVID-19 vaccine will essentially be added to the list. And Dr. Silva believes more institutions will follow suit. You know, we're hearing that from other states that eventually, you know, that they will require that. We may even see it in, in you know, and possibly in the public school systems or private systems for the K through 12 as well. Dr. Silva says the vaccination requirement will help keep students safe on campus. And we see that over time, history has proven that vaccination is one way to get us out of the pandemic. And the universities plan to have exemptions for medical or religious reasons. And they're also planning to meet with student groups and labor unions before finalizing the policy. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.